Here's a jig that everyone who owns a table saw should go ahead and make. It's a miter jig. It's designed to be able to make nice 45 degree angled cuts, picture frames, furniture making, boxes, whatever it is that uh, would require a miter joint. It's very, very simple. Back has two runners that'll fit right into your uh, miter slides. The front side is made by securing a piece that's already been uh, mounted with these two boards that are 40, uh, that are 90 degrees to each other and then mounted dead center on your um, on your sled. To make it, you would first put the runners on the piece of plywood, place it in here, start to make a cut, and then you'll know where the center is for you to be able to go ahead and line up these pieces with any 45 degree tools you have to help you line it up. Uh, once it's in place and you do a little bit of adjustment as necessary, you can go ahead and screw it down tight. Uh, the other thing that's very important is this block of wood behind it. That's safety, so that way when the blade goes through, it goes into this wood and isn't exposed where your hands might be. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it by cutting this piece of wood that we've set up earlier for a picture frame, and you'll see how well it works. You see that I have a perfect 45 degree cut here. Now all I need to do to make the next cut is measure where I need it, flip it the other way, and run it through. Nice thing is, if you are making consistent cuts, you can clamp a stop lock right to this, so that way all of your cuts are exactly the same. So I've gone ahead with a hand screw and screwed in a stop lock. Now I'll be able to go ahead and make a couple sides of the frame that are exactly the same size. Here they are, two sides, exactly the same size, and when put together, perfect 90 degree miter. So I quickly grabbed a little bit of tape and taped the four pieces together. I just now cut with the miter slide, and you'll notice it's a beautiful fit. Picture frames like this one I made are often made by gluing together miter joints. They're not the strongest, and if you need to go ahead and make your frame stronger, what's typically done is putting in splines. You cut a slot in the corner and get a piece of wood like this one, which is the same thickness as your saw kerf, and just glue it into place and then trim it down later. In order to make those, it's very simple to do with your table saw. You can get all sorts of jigs to do this, the simplest thing to make is what I made right here. All this is a piece of scrap wood that I had, and I measured out a couple 45 degree lines and glued some scrap um, rails on the two sides. These particular rails will hold your frame at a perfect 45 degree angle to the blade as you slide it through. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it with this frame right here. I've set the height of the blade to match the height that I want to go ahead and cut into the frame. And I've slid the fence over so that way it's going to cut about halfway through the thickness of this part of the frame. All I got to do is make four passes. I'll show you how it works.
take a look, you'll see that I've got four identically cut slots in the frame. I've got some splines. All I need to do is glue them in and my frame will be significantly stronger once they're glued and everything is trimmed in place.